Hey there, Taurus. Welcome to Divine Conversations and welcome to your monthly reading for June of 2021. Yes, thank you guys so very much for tuning in. So please keep in mind that this is a general reading. Yes, so please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Um, also, this is a general energy reading. We're not talking about anything specific here in this reading. We're just looking at whatever messages need to come through for you at this time. Um, to serve your benefit or to serve your highest good, whatever messages are most important for you to hear right now. Uh, please also keep in mind that this is a timeless reading. Yeah, even though, you know, it's coming out, it's your message for the month of June. This is a message that could carry on for a while moving forward. Um, this may resonate for you later on down the road. Like you hear it now, doesn't quite make sense, but then you get further down the road and it makes more sense then. Um, and also we could be talking about something from the past. So the message that could be coming through for you here could be giving you clarity on something that's happened in the past. Just keep that in mind, guys. Yeah, time is an illusion and energies are fluid. All right, Taurus. Um, I don't really have anything else to say. So let's just dive into this here. I am, I do have a bit of a pre-shuffle here for you just to get the ball rolling. Uh, it looks like we're talking about love in this situation for you, Taurus. There is a relationship I feel like that is budding for you, or there is someone that you seem to be coming into alignment with on a romantic uh, level and emotional level. Um, and uh, so this either this is either you, Taurus, or this is the person that you're dealing with here or the person that you're aligning with. But somebody in the equation is not, even though you have this soulmate bond, one person is very much connected to it and wanting to see it through. The other person is afraid, okay? We have two sides of the equation. First side of the equation is the Knight of Cups in reverse with the Knight with the Nine of Swords. On the other side of the equation, we do have the Six of Cups and the Two of Cups. So on this side of the equation, Taurus, whether this is you or maybe this is the person you're aligning with, I'm not sure here. But on this side of the equation, um, well, it's not that I'm not sure, it's that it doesn't matter. This is a general reading, so take it as it resonates. But on this side of the equation, you have someone who is very much connected to the relationship, who very much recognizes the soulmate bond. Also, I'm hearing sees the value in this relationship and wants to see this through. But then on the other side of the situation, you have someone here who is not opening up, who's not willing to open up to the situation, or is just having difficulty opening up to the to, to the romantic feelings that they may that they're sharing with the other person, and that's all because of their fears that are getting in the way. Nine of Swords uh, is the Nine of Swords energy, the the um, you know self fulfilling prophecies, the fear, the fearful aspects, the nightmares, the the worst case scenarios. All of that stuff is popping up for them. It's being triggered for them because of the love that is being felt mutually between the two of you. I feel like this other person is really not communicating effectively, maybe isn't even communicating at all, but that's because they're wrapped up in their head about it. At the overall, the overall energy here is the Knight of Swords, okay? So there's some sort of, it's almost as if this other person may be taking steps to like fight against the situation. Um, I also feel like I feel pretty strongly that some of you may be dealing with a Gemini with this Knight of Swords energy here. Uh, um, this is a general reading, so take it as it resonates, but that's something that was really standing out for me uh, in this energy, so take that if it resonates for you, okay? Um, I, I feel like what's going on in this situation right now is there is a need to, instead of fighting against the person who is feeling the love and wants to you know, be in the relationship, wants to have a reciprocal relationship here, instead of fighting against that energy, somebody needs to take this Knight of Swords energy and put it towards working on themselves, Three of Pentacles, and balancing out, balancing out their emotions or balancing out their lives and working on moving forward from this because there's definitely love that's trying to come in here for you, Ace of Cups, to judgment, okay? Um, this is a situation in which you, I feel like somebody here could really be learning a really valuable lesson or going through a really beneficial phase in their life because of this potential relationship, but there has to be a level of not fighting against it and, and going with the flow because I really do feel like the other person here on the other side of the equation is actually very loving, very caring, very connected to the relationship and wants to make this happen. Okay, this even could be the masculine side of the equation here which often tends to be a little bit 
which tends to is a little bit different than normal because normally when we're you know on these channels and everything it's the feminine that's watching these but i do and it's mostly i i really do feel like it's the feminine here that's kind of running away from the situation or is trying to hold at bay or not really give to the situation for fears of what ifs and those what ifs are are um influenced by past relationship circumstances okay all right, Taurus, I'm going to stop it there um, for at least for your pre-shuffle. And then we're going to get we're going to get into the rest of this reading here for you and see what else we have. Yeah, uh, five of pentacles just came out. So there's definitely a lack mentality here, feeling not feeling good enough, um, not feeling solid, stable and sturdy within yourself. And you know what's crazy? What, what's just come out next is the ace of swords and the four of cups. I feel like whomever is putting up the fight here is very much aware of the truth of the situation. Um, with the Ace of Swords, but also the Ace of Swords can represent a victory. And in order for you to receive this victory, though, you have to let go of your apprehension and your fear and take advantage of the opportunity that's being uh, provided to you, okay? Four of Cups. Now, the other thing that this is kind of saying here is don't, uh, don't let this go. Don't, don't allow it to get to the point where it's too late. And now you completely missed the opportunity and you don't, and you're not really fully aware of it, or maybe you're not even allowing yourself to be fully aware of it until the situation has passed. Next card that's come out here is the fool. It's time to take a leap of faith. You have to leave the past circumstances behind or else they're just going to continue to paralyze you for the rest of your life. And you don't really want that, okay? Ace of Cups, the star and the moon. What you don't see here, Taurus, is that this relationship could really be beneficial for you. But in order for you to do that, in order, in order for you to receive the benefits of that, you're going to have to take a leap of faith and just jump on into it, okay? I really do feel like the person that you're connecting to really does care about you and is not the type of person from your past, okay? All right, Taurus, let's give this five shuffles here and we'll see what we've got for you, yeah? One. For my Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, this is two. Three, four, for my Taurus, for June of 2021, this is five. All right, Taurus, let's cut the deck here. Boop. All right. Overall energy for you, Taurus. We're starting you off with the Empress. This is beautiful, okay? I really like the Empress's energy here for you right now. Now, this can represent you, Taurus, okay? The Empress. The Empress does represent Taurus. Um, it also represents Venus, so love, uh, unconditional love. Also, the Empress represents nurturance, care. Uh, I feel like this is definitely a representation of the feminine in this situation. Okay, um, whether that's the Taurus or whether that's the cross watcher for a Taurus. Um, it's representing your nature. And what I'm getting with this, yep. Okay, what I'm getting with this Taurus is that uh, whomever here is in the feminine energies um, is really, might be, might identify as the divine feminine in this situation. So we might be talking twin flames. We could be talking, uh, you know, if we're talking Twin Flames, we could be talking about a situation in which maybe you were in separation with someone, a masculine, your divine masculine for a while, um, and they're re they've really gone through a glow up, a gone through a change, and it kind of feels like for some of you, they're coming back into the picture as a very different person, much more stable, much more grounded, much more commitment oriented. And you're having to pull, you or whomever is in the Empress energy here is needing to pull up and really allow yourself to follow through with this because I do feel like there is a sincere change in this person. If that's not you, if that's not your situation, I feel like then this, this is a potentially a brand new individual. Again, though, it feels like they're standing in that real true power, or at least they're standing in a more mature energy, all right? But uh, I definitely feel like the Empress represents the Divine Feminine here in many cases, or it just represents a feminine individual who is very loving, very caring, very nurturing, but may have been hurt in the past because of that. 
With the Empress, though, you have strength with the King of Cups, okay? So either this could be the masculine side of this feminine energy coming through, um, asking you to do the right thing or asking you to do what you know is right, even though it may not be easy for you. But that's not the strongest thing that I'm feeling here, Taurus. I'm feeling like it's this other individual, this other side of the equation or the masculine side of the equation that really is stepping into or is standing in a very mature, loving, emotionally available, emotionally balanced and secure um, energy. A very, very, very much so. And, and, and that I was picking up on that already in the beginning. So I really do feel like you can trust this relationship. You can trust this person. At the bottom of the deck, you do have the Wheel of Fortune. But underneath that, you have the Eight of Cups. Um, I feel like there is a big change that's happened for you in your love. Like, well, we're talking about love in this situation. So, okay. Um, I feel like there's a big change in your, that's happened in your reality. And that's allowing for more love to come into the situation. But in, for, but in order for you to take advantage of this, in order for you to really achieve or realize the big change that's happening for you here, Taurus, you're going to have to walk away from elements of the past. That doesn't mean completely forgetting about what you've experienced and been through in the past and now just moving forward willy-nilly. Uh, not having taken the lessons with you that you learned from the past. No, absolutely not. Definitely take the lessons with you, but don't allow uh, don't allow them to hinder you. Don't allow them to be. Don't allow them to paralyze you. Don't allow them to stop you in your tracks or stop you from moving forward or trying new things or getting into new circumstances with other people, because of you know whatever it is you experienced in the past. Okay. All right. Let's get into the first half here first set of surrounding energies for you Taurus in the first half of your reading you have the two of swords yep there's that indecision so it definitely feels like you're in an indecisive energy right now or whomever is kind of fighting back or pushing back in this situation they're in a very indecisive energy right now and it feels it feels kind of like panic it feels like this individual would rather shut themselves out completely and ignore the situation than rather than rather than have to make a decision. And in some cases, it even feels like with this with these energies here, you're somebody here is afraid to make a decision. What if I make the wrong decision? What if I say yes and this turns out to be a shit show? What if I say no and I miss out on a, one of the best opportunities in my life? So you know what? Instead of making a decision, I'm just going to sit here and do nothing. And that's just as bad. You know, there's only one way to find out. And with the energies that I'm feeling, the, the beautiful supportive energies that I'm feeling here, um, I feel like this really could be a very good situation for you. And I mean, obviously, you know, you need to calculate your own risk here. Okay. And you uh, don't let me tell you what to do. But from what I'm feeling in this situation, you're better off trying and risking potential failure than not trying at all. The overall energy here for you, Taurus, in this situation is asking you to put your ego aside to a certain extent and allow yourself to be feel strong enough or to have the strength to see it through to to persevere to try okay i that in this situation feels like it's the best thing for you at this moment two of swords is coupled with the six of wands i feel like somebody here is even afraid of victory or success And this feels like it's coming from a comfort zone. I did just hear a comfort zone. And this is kind of, this is a little heartbreaking, but it feels like you or somebody here has become accustomed to things not working in their favor. Um, that's the comfort zone they, they come into. They're set, they, it's like they've settled into this reality or you've settled into this reality of, well, everything's just gonna, just gonna implode on me anyway, so why even try? You, it feels like you've become comfortable in that space. So you don't want to you don't want to risk anything. You don't want to take the risk because you don't want to risk failure, even though you even though you've experienced destruction or failure a good amount. But it's also there. It feels like there is a fear of success, even here. Better the devil you know than the devil you don't. And in this situation, it feels like the devil that somebody knows here 
is the element of destruction, betrayal, deceit, pain, something like that. And it's just, you've just become, or this person has just become very comfortable here. But strength is asking you to step out of your comfort zone in this situation, okay? Second set of surrounding energies for you, Taurus, in the first half of your reading, you have the Three of Wands. And it's at this moment that you get to look at your path and say, okay, this is where I've been and I guess this is where I'm going or this is the momentum I'm going in my life, but is that really truly the momentum that I want to keep up? That's the biggest question for you in, in front of you in this situation right now. Is this the momentum that I want to keep going? And I would say probably not, right? Three of Wands is coupled with, oh, the lovers. It looks like, Taurus, you have a, a really beautiful opportunity, Taurus or Crosswatcher. You have a really beautiful opportunity for a real divine partner or a divine soulmate to be, to show up in your life or to be a part of your life. And it seems that all the trials and the tribulations that you've been going through are leading you up to this point right now, have led you up to aligning with someone that actually really truly cares and is actually very emotionally mature and grounded, stable and secure. Everything that you've been dealing with up until this point, Taurus, has been preparing you for this relationship, okay? And I know that may seem counterintuitive or counterproductive at this time, but if you were to really look, like sit back and look at, really, really look at what you've learned here and how that has prepared you or shaped you or molded you to be ready for a real committed or balanced and harmonious relationship, I feel like you would you would see that if you really gave yourself the chance to really think about everything that you've happened, everything that you've experienced up until now and how that has helped you shape yourself to like how, who that shaped you to be in, in life. Okay. Your challenge here, Taurus, in the first half of your reading is the Ace of Wands. See, I do feel like you're feeling the inspiration too. You're feeling like you want to move forward with this too, but just that feeling of having a potential mate in front of you, a potential relationship that actually could really be very excellent for you, that alone is causing anxiety and is causing you to be like, I actually don't know if I want this now. But that's just past fears coming up to the surface, okay? Ace of Wands is coupled with the Hanged Man. Your challenge here. Your challenge here is to allow, again, allow past circumstances and past relationships that have been a hindrance to you or just been a really strong lesson for you, allow that to change your perspective and try to see clearly the opportunity that you have in front of you. I feel like this hanged man energy is really supportive in terms of saying to you, just go for it. Follow through with your initiative follow through with what it, the pull that you're feeling the, the, the you know you have a you have a plethora of life experience right now that can really help you change your experience change your perspective change your mindset okay if you only allow yourself to go through the little bit of uncomfortable phase of stepping out of this comfort zone okay closing message or potential outcome in the first half of your reading here Taurus you have the king of wands interesting I feel again I feel like this is a representation of this other person and cup the, the king of wands coupled with the king of cups energy is very steamy okay but I feel like this person knows exactly what they want and I feel like they want they know that what they want is you and I feel like they're very patient they're going to be very patient Okay, they're feel they're very passionate, they're very understanding, they're very giving, and that might be something that kind of scares you. But the fire and the passion that you may be feeling emanating from them is also cooled by the waters of compassion and love. Okay. I just feel like this I I, I just feel like there's a, a, a strong level of patience within this person. I also feel like this person that you're connecting to knows exactly what it is that they want. And for right now, you fit in it, is what I just heard very clearly. You fit in this. 
So it does feel like they're going to wait and give it as much time as they can, but also I don't want you to slip into another comfort zone saying that they're gonna wait for you forever, because they're not. It would be unfair to expect someone to wait for you forever, you know what I mean? King of Wands is coupled with the Page of Wands. This is communication. This is a message being sent. This is good news, okay? This is someone saying that they're, they're wanting to start, they're wanting to get into this with you. This is someone uh, confessing their passion for you. A passionate new beginning with this individual. This is really beautiful, Taurus. I really feel like you should take advantage of this, okay? All right, let's get into the second half of your reading then. First set of surrounding energies for you, Taurus. You do have the four of pentacles. All right, but this is you sitting on your store, your doorstep or sitting at, you know, the entrance to your domain, holding your ground, holding your stance. And what it feels like you're holding on to, Taurus, is what the past circumstances in your life have influenced you to settle into. This feels like that comfort zone. This feels like that safety net or that energy of, um, you know, holding on to everything for dear life for fear of destruction or fear of something going wrong, okay? Four of Pentacles is coupled with the Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, Taurus, this literally feels like Taurus or Crosswatcher, okay? This literally feels like you taking stock of everything that you that has ex, that you've experienced up until now, and almost settling into an energy of well, it's always going to be this way, it's always going to turn out this way, so I might as well not even try anything new. It's it literally it literally feels like Taurus. The past experiences that you, the, everything that you've experienced in the past and all of the, we'll say, harvestables that you've gotten from that situation is causing you to sit in this Four of Pentacles energy, not wanting to let go, not wanting to give up your position. This is a, this is a strong, maybe even, even in some cases, Taurus, this is an extreme defense mechanism, okay? And it's something that you've got to let go of. It's like you've settled into a, an acceptance of what I'm feeling is a representation of Einstein's definition of insanity, of doing something the same thing over and over again, but expecting a different result. It's, it's like you've taken some sort of conditioning that's saying to you, it's always going to be this way, and you're just settling into it. And that's not fair to yourself. That's where strength is coming in and your overall energy asking you to step out of your comfort zone because things are not always going to be the same if you don't approach them the same way. So even so, there may even be a level of needing to take some sort of responsibility or some sort of ownership in some way because this feels like a very different relationship or a very different circumstance, Taurus, than what you've experienced in the past. So obviously, you're not going to be able to approach it the same way that you've appro approached past situations. You're going to have to try something new. Second set of surrounding energies for you, Taurus, in the second half of your reading. There we go. Now we have the emperor. So we have the empress and the emperor here. Okay? This really could be a twin flame situation. We also have the lovers and the three of wands in the second half or in the first half of your reading. So this could be you walking a twin, the, the twin flame path or being on a twin flame journey. And either you are reconnecting with someone from the past that represents the divine masculine for you, or maybe it's the other way around. Maybe you're the divine masculine here and you're connecting with the divine feminine. I don't know. Take it as it resonates. Um, or this is a brand new person. Okay. But I, ref I definitely feel like Taurus, this is someone that aligns with you. Even if you don't, even if you don't resonate with the twin flame journey, okay, this is someone that's aligning with you on your energetic level. One person representing the divine feminine 
or Empress energy, the other person representing the divine, divine masculine and um, uh, uh, emperor energy. And it feels like this individual that is represented by the emperor here is solid, stable, and mature, or is at least mature enough to be able to have a really balanced, harmonious, and reciprocal relationship. This definitely feels like someone that would want to protect you, would not want to hurt you, would want to, is the master of their own domain, and would want to provide a sense of security and stability to the empress, his counterpart. These are literal counterparts here, emperor and empress, okay? The emperor is coupled with the knight of swords. There's disbelief here. This is, this is, Taurus, this is coming from a place of having had past experiences with so-called divine masculines or so-called emperors only for it to turn out lackluster or not the case at all. And I feel like you're fighting back. You're fighting against this. It's as if what I'm kind of seeing here is someone approaching you, a masculine individual approaching a feminine individual and the feminine freaking out and just like throwing punches and, and wildly trying to defend themselves. And the emperor comes over and just kind of like hugs them, holds them until they, ooh, wow, this is heavy, um, until they finally just surrender and stop fighting and just break down in a ball of tears. It's as if you're finally receiving what you've been looking for, what you've been working towards, what you've been fighting so hard for. And this, okay, so maybe this is just this initial moment that, you know, this is the situation where this person comes into the picture and you have a knee-jerk reaction only to find out it's not as bad as you think. That's a good thing. And I feel like this individual represented by the emperor is loving and compassionate enough to understand that. King of Cups might also be very psychically aware, or at least emotionally in tune, okay? And can read the energies of others, can pick up on what's going on with others. And I feel like there's a lot of compassion, there's a lot of understanding for what you've gone through on just an energetic level, even if they don't really know what it is yet. There's this understanding of it. And so it's not a situation in which, you know, they're looking to run from you or there's going to be huge repercussions in this knee-jerk reaction, okay? But it's still, like, still work on that, okay? <laughs> your challenge here, Taurus, in the second half of your reading is the Seven of Swords, okay? But I feel like this is what you're expecting, Taurus. This is why it's coming up as your challenge because it's what you're expecting to experience and I'm not sure that's exactly what you're gonna get. Seven of Swords is coupled with the Nine of Cups, You know what's interesting, Taurus? You're afraid of the deception. You're afraid of being lied to. You're afraid of being cheated on. You're afraid of being used or take advantage of or blah, 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 baited and switch it, switched even, right? But your fear is actually a manifestation or a representation of what you fear happening. Instead of you actually ending up being lied to or deceived or taken advantage of, it's your fear of that that's actually the deceptive element here in this situation. What's really going on or what's really happening here for you is, is happiness, fulfillment, satisfaction, nine of cups, okay? That's your challenge here, all right? Closing message in the second half of your reading or potential outcome. You have the page of pentacles, an offer of commitment a brand new start, a new reality, which is right underneath the Page of Wands and the King of Wands. So somebody wants to, this individual, this masculine or this person that you're uh, connecting with at this moment, whenever this reading resonates for you, they are passionate, they are excited, they're feeling fulfilled, they're wanting to give this a chance, they're wanting to send that message to you, that message of, that message of passion and, com and, 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 and um, excitement even, okay? Now, in the closing message or potential outcome, in the second half of your reading, you have the actual offer of commitment, the new start, okay? Page of Pentacles is coupled with the Ace of Swords. 
clarity, truth, honesty, communication, victory. Okay? There is victory in this commitment. I do feel like the tables are really about to turn for you, Taurus. Okay? All right. Um, since this was a reading that was so... So um, love oriented. I want to get closing oracle guidance for you, Taurus, from the lover's oracle. Okay. Oops. Ooh, sorry, guys. Hold on a second. Bear with me. I'm having trouble getting the deck out of the box. All right. Closing oracle message for my Taurus here. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus for the month of June of 2021. What closing oracle guidance do you have for Taurus, please, spirit? Closing oracle guidance for my Taurus. In terms of this situation... Okay, I'm going to leave it there because it's a perfect, it's a perfect closing oracle. You have new beginning. A new adventure waits, awaits, excuse me. A new adventure awaits. Um, embrace it and live your dreams passionately. Okay. All right, Taurus, I'm going to leave it there. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. I love you all so very much. I hope you have a fantastic month. And I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading for the month of July. Yeah? Take care. Mwah! Bye! <laughs>